Hello, this is Mrs. Greentham coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, where I am showing you the Central Community Garden. As you can see, there is many raised beds here. Each raised bed uh, somebody in the community has. In the beginning of the year, they offer open up the beds to everybody equally, and you just put your name in and first come, first serve. Um, as you can see, they grow a lot of variety of things from flowers to vegetables to potatoes. And if you are growing potatoes, they do have uh, an extension of the time you're growing. For the beginning, all the way from the spring to um, September 31st, you're allowed to grow, but you must remove and clean the beds by September 31st. Otherwise, potatoes get a little bit of an extension and you can keep them in the ground um, a bit longer. Coming up next is a few pictures of close up of the flowers that were growing in the garden. Plus, I'm going to introduce you to Jenna, who it's her first time growing things in the bed, and she gives me her experience on, on what she thinks and her thoughts of it. Um, this is the Central McDougal Community Garden. Um, I've only been here for one season, and so far I've really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it gets me outside, it, it gets me connected with ground, and we just moved into a place nearby that, that doesn't have its own garden space, so it's really nice to have a space like that. I grew up my whole life with my dad uh, growing gardens and bringing in all this produce, and every year you have something that there's just so much of that you have to share with your friends and family, and uh, that, that overwhelming abundance really seems to uh, spill over into the rest of my community and, and really, really grounds me. It really brings me a sense of purpose and belonging and yeah yeah I'm really grateful to the Central McDougal community uh, garden group crew that set this up and that uh, I can share in, in the abundance uh, my name is Jana and uh, I'm really happy to to share my gardening I know that there's some some sometimes you'll you'll have little things go missing and as a community gardener part of it is is about abundance and so I don't really mind um, when people come by and, and take a little snack of whatever I've, I've, I've planted. Um, so yeah, I've got a whole bunch of potatoes here today and um, I'm looking forward to eating them. So here in this garden, each section belongs to a different person and some, some people have more than one section if they um, are a more seasoned gardener and have a lot to, lot to plant. Um, this is my first year trying potatoes and it was a lot more success. I have a lower bed, so there's different levels of beds. The sh short, shorter beds are better for things like flowers and things that grow up uh, that aren't too big. But the potatoes really should have been in a deeper one, so maybe next year I'll try something a little bit deeper. As you can see, Jenna got a lot of potatoes that she grew. She actually grew four different kinds of potatoes and was generous enough to give to the homeless around this area that, that live here. At the end of the season, uh, when you're cleaning up your garden bins, all the compost goes in this pile to be used for the following year. And as you can see, those big clear white buckets are filled with water. So everything supplied to you for your garden, you don't have to go get any water, it's all given to you and you just water your plants. <laughs> 